Good evening. Hello there. How are you doing? Welcome to yet another awesome webinar presented by FHG Consulting. We are so excited that you are here. Okay, so we are going to give everybody two to three minutes like usual. So it is exactly eight o'clock on the dot right now. And I am so thrilled to be sharing with you on this webinar on this beautiful Sunday evening. And if you are watching the replay, I wanna say, hey there, how you doing? We trust that we are, we are going to deliver value for you. We know that we believe that, but we're also trusting and not going on our own word. So we are just pumped, pumped, pumped. Why? The service has taken off absolutely in a phenomenal way. The classrooms are filling up quite regularly. You know the excitement around all of this as we were, oh, hi, everyone that is starting to come in. Wonderful. You know, the excitement around this particular one day property, uh, this property education that, you know, that we had started was like, it's about time, Jen. Why have you been taking your time getting here? And I'm like, what? You waiting for me? So guys, you know what? In anything that you are doing, if you are working through some of your stuff, in whatever arena that you're working in, take that plunge. I promise you the excitement. People that have been waiting for you are going to tell you, we've been waiting for you. Why have you taken so long? A very good evening to more people that are starting to come through. That is one minute past 8 p.m. on a Sunday evening when we're all getting ready for a working week ahead. And here you are getting yourself upskilled. Wonderful, there's more people coming through. I must say I'm so excited with these webinars because the more I do them, the more comfortable I get. You know why? Because I get used to the to the technology of not looking all over the place, looking at specific places. So while you guys are logging in, I just want to share with you that there's a QA box. And in that QA box, any questions that you're gonna have this evening. I want you to drop into that Q&A field, the Q&A box. Uh, sometimes I still call it a comments box, but you'll know what I mean. <laughs> awesome, wonderful, more people are coming through. Oh, excitement, excitement in the air. Two minutes past eight. Okay, guys, I know that I'm radically excited all on my own here watching the laptop. But just like you, all on your own where you are watching your laptop, you're so excited. More people are coming through. There were so many people that registered for this. Some days I thought, I wonder if I end up uh, um, advertising for weeks and end about the webinar, what would it look like? But you know what? Still so grateful for many of you coming through. It is now three minutes past eight. There's quite a few of you in the room. So I'm going to get going. I'm going to get started. Why? Because money and deals, or should I say property opportunities, do not wait for you. They come and they go. And if you are not ready, then walala wasala. Alrighty, let me share my screen with you guys. I'm so very excited that you're here. I mean, like, woo, on a Sunday evening. Hello. <laughs> Wonderful. Day. Oh, I just shared the screen and I see more people coming through. Guys. We've given you all three minutes to come in before we start with the formalities and get into this webinar. We want this webinar to be short, sharp, and delivering nuggets that's going to get you thinking and asking yourself, hey, do I really need money to invest in property? And why am I sitting on my laurels? So it's four minutes past eight, and we are excited. Tonight, we welcome you to the training and, you, and I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining on today's training. We are going to be diving into property investment strategies. I'll show you a simple strategy that allows you to create an income and grow your confidence in finding a property opportunity and what you can do with it to earn that extra income. Now, 
if you don't already have property education as yet, that is also okay. Why? Because we'll also cover property or other investment strategies used by property investors and then you can lay, later decide what may work for you, what has got you interested so that you know the path going forward as to how you're going to take this property journey by the horns. So I want to make a quick uh, request. So if you stay until the end of this webinar, I am going to send you an awesome gift, right? I would love you to engage during this time. I would love you to participate because as I shared, this is going to be short and to the point. And what others don't know is yet, I will be also, this very same webinar that you and I are live on right now will be used as part of a watch party this week. But I'm also going to sneakily share who else I'm going to be into, you know, uh, pulling into my training room. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited for her to join. But let me not get ahead of myself. I just want to say to you, if you have any questions or comments, or when I do ask you to engage, drop your comments or your question in the Q&A box so that at least I feel that I'm not alone here. I'm alone, but I know I'm also in good company. There are so many participants this evening. I'm like, what? Maybe I should have more webinars on a Sunday. I don't know. So let me get on with it. The question, the big question here this evening, do I really need money to invest in property? Like, really? Well, I'm going to answer that question for you shortly. But before I do, just a quick introduction on who I am. I am Genevieve Stafford Jack. So many of you may know me, many of you may not know me. So I'm going to give you a very, very high level so that I'm not, I'm not spending too much time on giving you lamentations about who I am. Okay, so I'm an entrepreneur. I'm also a property investor and coach. Recently, I've been known for bringing value to aspiring entrepreneurs like yourself. Where am I bringing this value? In the one day property training that I have recently introduced, paired with group coaching. So that was pretty new. And some people were like, oh, I wonder if it's gonna work. Oh, I wonder if it's a, it's a value. And guess what? My students are raving about that right now. So right now, that's the murmurs. That's the wondering, and I wonder what the perceptions are out there. But nonetheless, the value we give as a company paired with the affordable prices, the practical guidelines, and just, just, just those things have left some people like, really? Is she for real? Could she really get away with it? Well, we're not getting away with it. We're doing what we're doing live like Clive, like I usually say. You know, I, I usually like to have my notes here so that I don't go way overboard. So I just really want to give you a, a quick overview. And like I said, myself, I started my training, coaching, my tra training and coaching company two and a half years ago called FHC Consulting. I started off purely in mind with having corporates in mind. Why? Because I deliver learnerships or rather training to different learnerships around business analysis and software testing, some of the soft skills training, you know. So this is the type of thing that I deliver. However, what I didn't realize that um, very soon I'd be adding the property education to my toolkit because I had a very different idea on how it, would, how it will evolve. But what I've seen on the ground, what I've met on the ground has really just put me in the situation of accelerating and delivering value to people. So as I've shared, I've, you know, I've also consulted over several years. I've consulted the, you know, in the recent two and a half years to different startups, to small business, and I've delivered professional keynote speeches as well, specifically in the IT space, even as far as a church environment. And in as much as I'm a believer, I also do not push my belief system onto anybody that I come in contact with 
but I do not stand shy to say that I am a believer. Nonetheless, my personal favorite to date is just what we're going to be sharing about this evening on property education, on what, it, what it's meant for FHC Consulting and the students that we delivered this education for. It is mind-blowing. So like I said, my husband and I are in this game together. Some of you may know him. Some of you may not know him. That is him in the pictures next to me. We have chosen very different paths in property investment. However, we collaborate when it counts. And that's why our household is so dynamic because here are two people that truly believe in property investing. And we have very different angles and strategies that we elicit. And then when it counts, we collaborate on other ventures. So my husband and I started our property investment journey in 2016 with Legacy Education. Hoo-ha! For anyone that knows Legacy Education, drop the, in the Q&A field and say, hoo-ha! The education for us was phenomenal. It started off at this free seminar where Leroy Slava just shared and he, he articulately brought through his journey and he shared with us about property uh, about property and my husband and I were just inspired by him and when we were sitting in that five million debt we didn't even know it was defined at five million at that time but when we were sitting in that debt my husband and I looked at each other and said surely with the passion this guy speaks if he can make it surely we can fight the battles that we have because he has fought a good fight and if he's standing we are then encouraged that we too will be able to journey along. And that's when we went to our training. And in our training, it was three days. We started, I think it was nine o'clock in the morning till about six, seven in the evening. And Sean Thompson delivered. He brought it home for us. I mean, up until today, I'm friends with Sean on Facebook. I see the stuff that he's going through, but I'm still encouraged by his training and his sharing and he, just his journey, I'm just so encouraged by who he is as a person. So Sean Thompson is the gentleman standing next to TJ in the picture. The other gentleman was also serving at that particular property training. And that was our graduation picture. Like, here we are. This is our start. And the reason I also put a, another picture of TJ and I next to this is that TJ was also invited to deliver a keynote speech at the Sappen event. Now, for those of you that don't know Sappen, you've missed out life. <laughs> yes, Sappen is South SA Property Investor Network. It's a networking community with like-minded people. So that particular day with that particular picture, he was invited to do a keynote speech on his journey and how he got there. And I was so, so proud of him. I can barely believe that time has gone by this fast and we're in the space where we're able to share with people about our journey. So that is really just a high level of who we are. So from 5 million deaths about two and a half years ago to where we are today, we have cried, we have grown, we have learned, we have fought, we have done so many things. However, we did the most important thing, we stood. And we stood firm on, we're not letting this go. It will work for us. And boy, has it been working for us. So today, TJ is a co-founder or rather the co-director of M5 Property Addict together with Rietha. And guess where we met? Legacy Education. So you just don't know where your business partner is coming from, your future business partner is coming from. And they have built such a successful business I love them both. Um, they work absolutely awesome together. However, because my husband and I, like I said, we collaborate when necessary. However, we've chosen slightly different parts. I started FHC Consulting, like I said, mainly outsourcing my skill as a service. So some of you know me from some of my clients where I've plugged in, I've done training, I've done coaching for a short period of time. And I just really, after a while, focused so much more on my corporate clients 
while building a lot more of my experience in terms of sourcing, that is my extra source, that is my special source, that is my strategy. And I'll tell you more about that a little later. Okay. So as life has gone on, I've done some case studies to see what is it going to be, what is it going to work? What's going to work out there? All right. And what I had found is what's going to work is just giving people a lot more information than what they know, but from experience and being able to articulate myself and literally drawing an end-to-end -end process. My students had said, give us an end-to-end -end process. We are happy with three nuggets that are end-to-end -end process, then 25 pieces of information that kind of is halfway. And so I listened and here we are. So I just want to say the property education is specifically for the property investor that has been to a property investment training. However, they could not move forward. The property investor that is stuck with finding opportunities. And last but not least, the property investor that simply just wants to understand strategies in a small, intimate environment and then decide what it is they are going to do to move forward. So I want to say if you have fitted in any of these three aspects, this particular training, this share is for you. You are in the right place. Our goal at FHG Consulting is really just to help 100 people move off the starting block by the 30th of November by teaching the main skill that's centered around any of the strategies, which is how do I find a property investment opportunity? And then it answers, do I really need money to do property investing? So yes, I haven't moved off my goal, but just sharing holistically what we are about. So what I'm going to say this evening is what you will learn before we sign off this evening. Let me just get a quick sip of water. So what will you learn? So when we complete this quick training, you will walk away with investment strategies used by property investors with my personal favorite, where I do not put one cent down. I do not put any money into the deal and I walk away with an extra income. Great lessons for my students right now. I knew I'd be collecting them one day. <laughs> Great uh, lessons for my students. And also, how I trade swap, whatever my situation is at that point in time, within property, I do that as well. So we'll cover tips and strategies like what you need to know before you invest, what are property strategies to be aware of? And then the third nugget is unpacking my favorite strategy that answers the question, do I need, do I really, 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 really need money to invest in property? If you are still with me, drop in the Q&A box. Jen, I am with you. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. I see there's a lot of people saying, Jen, I am with you. Jen, you are crazy. Let me read more of these. <laughs> Jen, I'm definitely with you. Tell us more. Preach. Wonderful. So I'm in good company, guys. So at the end, I'm going to show you how to gain access to my accelerator training, which is a one-day training. And this will be a small, intimate classroom environment where we do a deep dive and also two or three more strategies so that you can understand strategies in totality. And then, guys, I've got crazy news, but stick with me until the end and I'm going to tell you my crazy news. Who's going to be joining us at the training? Okay, so as I shared, keep dropping those Q and any comments or questions in the Q&A field. That keeps me exciting. Excited and clearly just gets me going crazy up in here, knowing that I am not alone. So, what you need to know before you invest. Let's just go over a few pointers, right? We're 20 minutes in, 15 minutes into the content. 
And like I said, I'm not going to keep us here all night. I know that you have got preparation to do, but this is prepara preparation and context into the one day training that you may want to join. So the question is, what you need to know before you invest. Know what you want from property investing. First and foremost, why? TJ and I identified what did we, what did we want? We wanted to get out of debt. Yes, financial freedom and all of them to travel and to create a business. And I'm not mocking that. That was secondary. We wanted to get out of debt. Finish in class. Let's just comp compartmentalize things and not get too hyped up about what the media has to say about property investing. You will get those things. But my question is, if you are looking and thinking about 25 different things, are you re do you really have your eye on the goal? And our goal was to take that minus sign away from the 5 million. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, some of you got it. Very clever. The second thing you need to know before you invest is know the market. Are you really just trying to understand what strategies are out there? What strategies are in property investing? And you think that you may need money to actually start off with investing. No, you don't. You don't. You don't need hundreds and thousands of rands to invest. Why? Because there are strategies that simply do not require money. Yes, true story. Get insider property knowledge on strategies. What do I mean? If you've been to a two-day uh, two training or you've been to any other training or you've listened to webinars and things like that, don't you think that's insider information that you may not have known prior to getting to that training? Yes, that is what I mean. Get the knowledge, because when you get the knowledge, you overcome the barriers that are stuck in your head. You overcome the assumptions of what you think property training and coaching and things are about. All right, what you need to know before you invest. Like I said, Know what you want from property. Know the market. You'll know which strategy to exercise. Get insider knowledge on, strat on strategies, insider property knowledge on strategies. The fourth one, listen cautiously. And I want to say this word kind of loosely though. Listen cautiously to the experts in the market. However, when you are learning more about property and you're in property education, Listen and understand your numbers. Listen to the experts, yes. But when your numbers are not giving you the desired outcome, try unpack why. Okay. Because we're looking at things now from a different hat. We're looking at it from a property investor hat. That's the fourth one. The fifth one, know when to exercise which strategy. Only you truly know what your financial position is. So let's unpack that one quickly. Know when to exercise which strategy. If you are in a strategy, we're going to go over the few strategies now in the next slide. When you are in a strategy that is a flip strategy and you have done the numbers, but the numbers are showing that it's more lucrative for you to buy and hold, know when to exercise it. Know the ROI that you're looking for. Understand the numbers. Why? You will understand the numbers when you get into the space of actually unpacking what it is to know. You will then understand strategies. You'll understand where you need to go forward with what. Then lastly, just understand the risks. There's risks and reward in anything that you do. So there's also risks and rewards as an investor. However, this time you're going to do it differently because before you start investing, you're going to ask yourself, what is it that I need to know? Do I have the education? Do I understand the strategies that are out there? Do I understand when to exercise those strategies? Am I listening to uh, the experts in the market? What am I doing? I trust that that is resonating with you. If it's resonating with you in the Q&A box, drop I'm with you. Jen, yes, it's resonating with me. 
as I take another sip of water and see the cock over there, that box is orange again. Awesome, that is wonderful. Okay, so there's a lot of you that are with me. I'm so, so glad. Thank you so much, guys, for participating. You make this a dream. So strategies can change according to the investment needs at any given time in the life cycle of, the, of, of investing. So Jen, again, what are you saying to me? Uh, what am I saying is you could have started off with a buy, uh, renovate and, and, and sell. And in the next one, I'm going to share with you how strategies can change very, very quickly mid-cycle. In this one life cycle, you went in and you decided, I'm going to flip and it all of a sudden turns on a, on a rental income. And it then it, it, it turns on a rental strategy. And that just tells you that there's agility in what you are doing. One. And two, at the end of the day, you always need at least two exit strategies. Because when you've got an exit strategy, then if suddenly the markets change and you were going for a flip, you're not stuck with something that you don't want. Then you know what is my what is my exit strategy from this deal that should have been a flip. Investing in property is an active process, and if we don't understand that that is an active process, we are going to be left in want. All right. So I trust that those nuggets on what you need to know before you invest resonate with you, and you can even add more to the list. So what's the fuss about property strategy, Jen? What's the fuss? The property strategies will help you determine where you are going. What is it that you want? What is it that you're after? I learned that one from Robin Banks. So the different property strategies, there are a number, but I want to highlight the more common ones. There's buy and hold, meaning you're going to buy and you're going to rent it out, right? Over time, what property investors do, they buy and they hold, and maybe after five years, when they've seen appreciation in the market, the property has appreciated, all right, which is a natural appreciation. We didn't force it up. We'll talk about forcing appreciation later. We didn't force it up. It's a natural appreciation. Then what they do is over time, they refinance. They do whatever they need to do on the house, use extra money, the extra money from the refinancing, and then they take that equity and they go and invest elsewhere. Right. So some strategies, they, some investors set out that way. Another one would be still in the buy and hold. They go and they buy cash. They do the property up. They force the appreciation up because they bought a distressed property. Okay, and then they are able to bring it up. People are renting, and later they go back and they refinance. Now, let's talk about that second one buy, renovate, and sell, or buy and flip. Buy and flip is a very interesting space. Why? Because one of the exit strategies to a deal that I sold to an, to an investor was this. This is a good flip opportunity. It will bring you an 18% ROI. However, right now the market, will, at least at that time in that area, the market was just a little bit wobbly. And I said, if you buy, hold, rent it out for six months and then sell it, what does it look like? Can we not look into that perspective? And so that's what the investor did. They bought, they renovated, they let it out for six months and then they put it onto the market. But they put it onto the market by month five and people that were staying there had a six month lease and they certainly understood that come the end of six months, you know, if they can't afford to buy it, that the seller's gonna be uh, selling that particular property. So what's the fuss about property strategy? You need to know that if you have got cash money, and you buy a house and you force the appreciation up because you bought a broken down, fix me up a distressed property, as we call it. We bought this distressed property. And then what do we do with it? We force the appreciation up by making it functional and either selling it on or renting it 
to then later sell it. So what do, what do we get from these different strategies? We then start understanding in which different ways can we actually make money. Another strategy is rent to buy, okay? Meaning you've got an option to buy on contract in a longer term, seller finance. So you get a seller that is wanting to sell. However, you find that you, for whichever win-win negotiation <clears throat> process you've come up with, it must be win-win, guys, okay? Because we're solving problems here. As a property investor, we mustn't just think of ourselves. We're solving problems. So in this rent-to-buy, this option to, to buy on contract in a longer term, you then come up with an agreement with the seller that I'm going to pay over X amount of time. And then after that time, I'm then going to pay a lump sum to get the particular property. So that's the fuss about property strategies. Okay. The fuss is how best can we solve challenges that are there that people are going through? How best can we buy and like really utilize our, 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 our strategies to make the most money of where we are? And that really just comes back to, that's what the fuss is about property strategy. And my creative finance little strategy that I love with my whole heart, <laughs> my personal favorite, is sourcing deals. If you've been to a property investment class, you will understand what that is about. If you haven't, we will look forward to unpacking that process. But the long and short of what do you mean by a sourcing partner is because I have time, I create it. I will go and find the opportunity, I will do the due diligence, and then sell it to an investor that does not have time. So I am being of service to somebody and they are going to remunerate me. And that is a process, that is a relationship, and that is something that if you know that you're good at creating relationships, that may be a strategy on how you can make money. So do I really need money to invest in property? The answer is no, you do not. Will you need money for the tools? Yes. Well, you could you find creative ways on working around some of the tools? Well, you'll need money for the toolkit, but you won't need money to invest in the actual property. And what I mean by the toolkit, the toolkit would be things like Lightstone or TPN or going online on Property24, wherever you're going to find your deals. You'll just need that basic money, gas in your car to move you from point A to point B. That's what you will use. Like anyone else that has a job, they will use different resources to get them the opportunity. But to actually invest in that deal, no, you don't need money. So I trust that that has answered your question 33 minutes into the process. So I'm just going to unpack my favorite, 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 and then tell you more about the training that we look forward to servicing you at and unpacking and giving you a whole lot more information. So my favorite Strategy. I first want to say, when you look at these pictures, this was one of my first deals. And this was not good pictures. But because the numbers and the due diligence that I did, the investor was like, I'm taking it. So this is a two bed, one bath. It was advertised as a two bed, one bath. Okay. The owner was migrating to Nigeria. However, at that time, he was just motivated to sell. Shortly, he went into a distress space. Why? Because the tenants were not paying. And he had requested one of the agents to sell the place. The agent hadn't had access to the place when I'd gotten to seeing the agent. And so we went in for the first time together. She wasn't very comfortable that I was taking a few pictures. And so these are the pictures that I was able to take without too much of a fuss. That particular area, the rent at the time was 2,800 grand. However, when we got into the property, we then found the patio was covered and that was one extra room. So technically it was three bed, one bath. Okay. There were five tenants in there, in fact. There were two tenants in the main room and then main room was split by a curtain. There was one tenant in the one bedroom. There was one tenant in the, co uh, the, the covered patio and there was one tenant that had their curtain set up in the lounge. And of course, you know, the agent just been pale 
And what I learned, <clears throat> what I learned from property is that don't show your emotions. For me, it was a shocker because it's first time experience, but people do live that way. Can we make it better when we go in there? You must make it better. Like that, that Genevieve chapter one, verse one, you must make it better because how can people just stay that way, right? In that particular market, making it better and the way things were structured later, we could project that there is a 9,000 income. And in that particular market, that unit was 400,000. The offer price I eventually negotiated on was 200,000, but we all understood um, it wasn't something like an investor was bulldozing anybody. We understood what we understood. So that was something that was okay. And the flip potential was 100,000. So the property was bought for 200,000 and the renovation that was done at 35,000 really just brought the place up to looking very, very smart. Some drywalls put in and the necessary uh, <clears throat> things that you need to make a flat, sustainable for more than just one family in it. So there was checks and balances. So what do, we want to, what do I want to teach you from this one is that research the market thoroughly because online it said uh, two bed, one bath, but when we went there, it was actually two bed, one bath, the, prop, the patio was covered and there were multiple people staying in there. So we learned a lot more by being on the ground with our feet on the ground identify your area. And what do we mean by that? You're not going to be looking everywhere. A lot of investors, when they start, if they look in Windsor West, we did the same thing because it was close to home. And later on, we found deals further, further from here, um, which was okay because we were then able to take that sacrifice to drive. Why? Because we started understanding different areas. Do the math. And the math here is know your numbers. Run your numbers to see what it's all about. Know the bond and the property overhead, okay? And what we usually do is we've got a contingency plan because we budget for the worst case scenario as well because you just don't know what you don't know. So here's more tips as well. When you are in the area, understand what is actually happening in the area. What are the other units looking like? in that particular area okay understand as well for me this my strategy is sourcing so i must also understand that when i'm shopping around am i looking for properties for investors that are looking for income first or are they looking for capital growth w what is it i need to understand is my investor wanting money now 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 my investor saying I'm in it for the long haul. My investor is saying buy to hold or buy renovate, uh, maybe rent for a year and then sell. What is it my investors after? Do I have my ducks in a row for that? Look further for better deals, not only where you think, but first and foremost, start with one area. Until you can master one area, know the skills that went into it. Start building who you are. Then I say, my friend, look further, okay? Look, negotiate on price as there is additional value. Because at the end of the day, with seller finance, for example, some people want to sell, but they just need X amount of money to sustain them for the next year before they need a huge amount of money. So can I go to a seller and organize the lease agreement that for the first 12 months, I'm going to pay you, for example, 10,000 Rand, which is feasible because you've, you've run your numbers and you're able to get 10,000 out of this deal. You tell them they can give you 10,000 and then post that, I'm going to give you the lump sum. It gives you opportunity to work on how you're going to accumulate the money. Okay. Because again, going back to negotiation is a one on one. It is a uh, sorry, it, negotiation is a win win. And if we don't all win from there, somebody's losing, which is not a very good place to be in. So there's a lot of different principles, as I shared. But the main thing is for you to apply the fundamental principles of investing. That is the bottom line. 
And on that, on 40 minutes in, I want to thank you so much again for your time, guys. I really, really appreciate it. So I'm just going to quickly go into the one day training that I was sharing with you about earlier on to say, so Jen, what is the difference with you and everybody else that we know that is out there? Okay. What we just covered right now in this particular very, very short process, we cover a lot more of that information, a lot more lessons on the ground from insolvent properties to different types of OTPs. We go into real life information. We go into real life experience. That's what's the difference. Another one is we don't hype up what property is about. What we've covered is not a push button type of relaxed solution mode. There's no system to magically grow your skills without pulling, putting in the work. So we talk to you about putting in the work, okay? We need you to understand that there's work behind this. This is a serious, dedicated training about how to grow and implement your newfound skills. We talk about that and we unpack that during the one-day property training. We share the strategies end-to-end. So if you decide you're going to come in, learn the strategies because you've got a lot of uh, expertise and you don't want to go ahead with coaching, that is okay because you're going to walk away with the skill. You're going to understand that you have got a skill. We do not hold back information on that level. So the question right now is, will you be ready to assimilate what we have got to offer? So we look forward to serving you. But are you going to come to you with an open mind and open heart to grow? Okay. Let me get into the nitty gritties of the day. The nitty gritties of the day is, so what I want to do now is just, yeah, the nitty gritties of the day is really what I want to do now is just really go through what I mentioned earlier about, um, about helping you take what you've learned today to another level and feeling if this is really right for me, what is it going to do? So think about it. You are that person holding the laptop. You will be doing your research. You will be understanding. And you may have an investor holding their money out to you to say, I want what you have got to offer. Because we really just talk a lot more about on the strategy of how to invest without any money down. But we also unpack a lot of different strategies that we've also done as a company. So the com this particular program, like I shared earlier, is specifically designed to help you understand what it means to get off the starting block. So if you want to be respected within the property investment space, among other investors that have been doing this for a long time, if you want to build goodwill in your marketplace by contributing to the lives of others, and really just turn that passion that you have for property into an income or into pardon, something magical for you, then I want to say this one day program is for you. Come and find out what it's all about, where we literally share more in depth on the, the journey that we've gone through. We share more in depth on um, strategies that have been used, relationships that are built, how we went about finding things on the ground, and then unpack that through lessons give you the theory. So by the time we give you the theory, you've learned it so many times during the, the morning because of the different lessons that we do um, from all the different deals that I've highlighted to share with you. And this time we have got the beautiful Mauritia coming to share with us about property inspection. Yes. That is one of the news I'm just, I've been dying. I've been popping like, who, when can I share this information? We're excited to bring her through. You know why? As a property investor, you're not going to go looking for pretty houses. The probability and the likelihood of you finding a house that doesn't need much uh, TLC is very, very low. And you may be able to do a different strategy that we will unpack the back-to-back -back strategies during the one-day training. But Mauritius is going to come in and share with us the common defects that when we look at the defects, how to interpret those defects. And then she's going to help train our eye to see some of the defects that we may not necessarily see. How are we going to see them as well? And more importantly, she's going to be able to share with us what she does on a holistic level so that we can actually understand 
the importance of having somebody like Mauritius on our side. So yes, that is the crazy news that I've been sitting on and I've been dying to want to share that with you since we started. So 45 minutes in, I'm keeping my promise and saying to you, if you are not at the one day property training, you are losing out. So here's just um, a few pictures of the one day property training on some of the different days that we just sat through and we had our conversation and we chatted. Um, it's an intimate space. No more than 12 people in my room. Um, and at the end of the day, I chose it that way. I've designed it that way so that I'm not talking to a whole lot of people at the same time, that I'm really just taking this information and sharing and dissecting and explaining and knowing that when you walk out of there, you are walking out of there with on more answers than questions. So, the, oh, okay, sorry, there's questions coming through. So, Jen, can you just tell us how, how to read it. Of course, like, I'm, I'm going to tell you that in a moment. Okay. I didn't want it to be that typical webinar where I just go on and on and on, but I need you to understand the value. So how do you register? You go into quicket.co.za and then in the search field, like you see on this particular screen, you type how to find a property investment opportunity. When you click enter, you are going to find this picture and boom, drum roll. For one person, it is, is $2.99. For two people, because there's a lot of people that either do this with their spouse or with the business partner, it is $2.99. And because I use the Quicket system so that everybody's familiar with it, and because they automatically adjust the number of people in the room, I can't even see why I will be overbooked. So I absolutely look forward. So far, we are we already five or six people, I must double check that one, or already booked for this particular Saturday coming. So again, how do I find, how do you find it? You go to quicket.co.za, you type in how to find a property investment opportunity, and this is what you will find. On top of that, if you are watching this replay on the watch party, you will find the link in the comments below or you'll find the link in the comments above. Either which way it will be centered around here so that you don't have to go through the longer process of going to Quicket. It will just take you straight through to this particular booking sheet where you will find for one person $2.99 and for two people $3.99. So on that note, I want to say you've listened right to the end. And for those of you that have pitched up this evening, boom, boom, you're going to get that um, gift sent through to you. So look out for your email. We totally look forward that you came. For those of you that did not make it, guys, you, when, action, when you take action, you are rewarded. And if you didn't pitch up, maybe pitch up the next time. So nonetheless, I want to say those that are watching on the watch party, thank you so much for it taking the time out, listening throughout this particular pro process, because at the end of the day, we're just about wanting to bring you value. And for those of you that are watching this video on YouTube, it is a pleasure to have served you in this almost 50 minutes. So the one day training, let's go over it again. In this one day training, you're going to learn lessons that I've learned through property, uh, through property deals. So you're going to have um, all the evidence right in front of you, the name of the deal, where I found it, the nitty gritties and how to find that deal, the due diligence that I did, the negotiating that I did, how I sold that particular property opportunity and how I made money, how much money I made from it. You then going to learn how to find a property opportunity yourself, the numbers that you need to consider whenever you are doing your due diligence. And we, surprise, surprise, are going to look for a property opportunity when we are in the class. So that's homework for another, for Saturday that I don't want to be too much of a spoiler alert about. And then we're going to have the beautiful Mauritia coming through to share with us about the different defects that you will find. I affectionately call her the roof lady because I met her and she was sharing about uh, some of the stuff about the roof and I was totally, totally, totally gobsmacked with those 
different lessons. So I want to say go ahead and take advantage of this incredible discount. Take advantage of the can't lose risk-free training. Why? Because at the end of the day, when last have you paid $2.99 for a training that will give you this amount of information? When last have you as a pair came through to training for $3.99 that will give you this amount of information? So you'd be able to now be rest assured. And when we say that we are about getting people off the starting block, we mean that by delivering the, the value, by giving you what is it that you need to move off of the starting block. So guys, you've discovered the property training uh, where we don't hold back. And I'll be helping you each step of the way. I want to say to you, thank you so much for joining me. 50 minutes in, you've been awesome. You've interacted. I love everything. I'll be seeing many of you. For those of you that have what my details, this is my details at the end of everything that has been said and done. Um, guys, I'm available to chat whenever you need to chat. And if you want to ask more questions, I really feel that it's cool to take this um, offline. Otherwise, if you've got questions from the replay in the comments below, type hashtag replay. This was awesome. And oh, I'm getting too excited. I'm even knocking the earpiece out of my ear. I look forward to serving you at the training on Saturday. So be there or be square. Take good care. Ciao for now.